Hello and welcome to Nanobytes. In this super short episode, I'm gonna show you how to fix bad audio. Now, the number one fix obviously is preventative. Whenever you're doing any kind of video shoot, whether it's an interview or you run and gun and you're doing some, some quick vox pops, it's always important to double or triple check your mic to make sure it's picking up the right sound and there's no interference. But as an absolute minimum, you should always have two mics recording audio. Of course, the way to fix bad audio is to not record bad audio. So how do you do that? Whenever you're doing any kind of video shoot, whether it's on your phone or it's with a fully fledged camera crew, double and triple check your audio. Make sure the levels are right, make sure that there's no interference, and make sure everybody's mic'd up properly. But as an absolute minimum, always record with two microphones. Have an overhead mic or a boom mic. The reason why I prefer them is they give a much richer sound, it's much more bassy, and it's much more natural sounding. That's not to say there's anything wrong with lavalier mics. The difference is that they are a lot sharper, a lot lighter, there's a lot more treble in there, and they tend not to have as rich a fuller sound as an overhead mic. So wherever possible, try and have two mics recording. So that way, if anything goes wrong, for instance, one of them's got some interference or a disturbance, or there's too much wind picking up, you can switch to the other mic. Job done. If you're not sure how to set up mics and things like that, I did a video earlier. I'll post the link down below in the comments. Okay, so you've just done a video shoot and your audio sounds like garbage. It sounds like this. So this is an example of bad audio. Audio that sounds, well, it sounds a bit like it's on a computer. Uh, it sounds very hollow and there's no weight to it and it's distorted. It's just not very nice at all. Now, how do you fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need two things. Now, I'm gonna demo this on Adobe Premiere. There's others out there like uh, DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna use the one most people will be familiar with. And also, the reason why I like it is it's a monthly subscription. You can also get a 30-day free trial. So I'd highly recommend that. If you haven't downloaded Premiere yet or you haven't used it yet, you're not ready, give it a quick download. Once you're ready, continue the video. Firstly, I'm gonna dive into Adobe Audition and show you how we can remove some of that background noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the audio waveforms and I'm gonna go edit clip in Adobe Audition. But essentially what we can see here down at the bottom is there's a lot of noise. And if we wanna remove some of that noise, what we wanna do is we want to extract it. But before we extract it, we have to isolate it. So let's pop over here. I can hear a bit of hiss here. So I'm gonna select this clip here and then I'm gonna go up to effects. Then I'm going to go to noise reduction restoration. I'm gonna go capture noise print. What that'll do is that'll capture that specific part of the noise print. Then I'm gonna go command A on a Mac or control A on a PC, select the whole clip. I'm gonna go back to effects, go back to uh, noise reduction and restoration, and I'm gonna go noise reduction process. That brings me up a nice little window. It's already done a pretty good job. I'm gonna increase the noise reduction a little bit and pump up the decibels a little bit. I'm pretty happy where the floor is at the moment. So this is an example. That's good, so we've re removed that background noise. That's nice. I'll go ahead and remove that now. I'm gonna jump straight back into Adobe Premiere now with that fixed clip. First thing we want to add is something called a parametric equalizer. You can find that in the effects panel and we're gonna drag that onto the clip now. And then in our effects control window, again, if you don't have effect control, you can just jump up to effects and any of the windows that I'm talking about, you'll be able to see them in here. So we wanna edit the audio controls here and we're gonna hop into custom setup and click edit. Now, this is just a standard EQ. You'll have seen them on stereos from eons gone by. All modern video editing software and music software has some type of EQ built in. So one of the easiest things to do is just to go down to Vocal Enhancer, turn that on and see if that improves it. Uh, it sounds very... Not really, it's still pretty hideous. That's usually to do with the frequencies. So I'm gonna tap out the frequencies and put negative 90 in here, see what that does. Hollow and there's no weight to it. That's better, and... it's reduced that audio, but there's still quite a lot of highs in here. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. And it's distorted, it's just not very nice at all. And I'm gonna pull some of the other frequencies down. So how are we gonna fix this bad sounding audio? There we go, and that's starting to sound a little bit better now. 
So I'm going to leave that in there. Next, we're going to add something called a multiband compressor. So a multiband compressor, we just choose that there. We select that on there. Again, we go back into edit. Now there is a cool one in here. Um, it's called broadcast. If we choose broadcast here. So this is an example of bad audio. audio There's a sounds. lot of peaking here, so I'm going to bring the peaking down. So I'm going to add something called the de-esser. So now the de-esser should bring out a lot of those peaks. Well, it sounds a bit like it's on a computer. Uh, it sounds very hollow. Now here you're going to have to have a play depending on your type of audio, how your audio sounds. You can have a listen and see if it's got too many highs in it, if it doesn't have enough lows in it. You can choose different presets and then see how those presets sound. And then when you found one that you like, you can then have a little bit of a play with it. So I'm going to choose enhanced lows. Oh, and there's no weight to it and it's distorted. That's nice. We have a nice deeper vibe here. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit, bring this one down. So how are we going to fix this bad sounding audio? And that seems to have done a pretty good job. So this is an example of... There's still a lot of hissing. Uh, there's still some, some sounds that I don't like. So we're going to go back into our parametric equalizer and we're going to drop that back on again. So we've got our, se our second version uh, parametric equalizer here. I'm going to bring down the gain a little bit. So this is an example of bad audio. Audio that sounds, well it sounds a bit like it's on a computer. It's sounding much better now. It's very hollow. It's sounding much clearer now. To it and it's distorted. So now I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's starting to sound a lot better, but it's still not ideal. Now, of course, if we wanted it to be perfect, we should have recorded it better to begin with. So this is an example of bad audio, audio that sounds, well, it sounds a bit like it's on a computer. So this is an example of bad audio, audio that sounds, well, it sounds a bit like it's on a computer. So that's my quick audio fix. I would love to know what you guys do if you've got any other tips and tricks that you use, whether it's practical effects or digital tools, I would love to know about them. Please comment down in the comments below. I'm always excited to learn people's little hacks and tricks to make things sound better or look cooler. Of course, if you like any of this content, please consider subscribing to me on YouTube. And if you like the YouTube content, I'm sure you will love my newsletter content. Rory, doing newsletters, emails? I thought he hates them. I do, but most people use email and I want to try and condense everything I do down into a simple monthly newsletter or a feed where people can just jump in and see all the content that I've covered over the month. And if you do subscribe to the newsletter, you'll get free templates and templates in the form of many things. So some months it might be free chatbot templates. So automated chatbots for your social media or your website. It might be social media covers. So it could be display banners, things like that. It could be some ads, could be some animations, could be some color grading LUTs. So they're called lookup tables. If you're not familiar with that, that's what you use for color grading on things like Adobe Premiere, how to make yourself look more cinematic. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next week.